Kardashian Viewers Choice tutorial. Um, I posted a video like a week ago of three pictures of her. Um, you guys chose this one. This was look number two. Number one was like a pinup look, but a pink lip, like a really bright pink lip. And number three was like a purpley, freaked out, fun summer eye. This is the one that you guys chose. Everyone said they wanted to see it because it's really easy for summer. I agree. It's like a goldish, bronzy, smoked out eye. There is a few differences. Um, I think just one difference. I didn't wing out my eyeliner and I think mine's a little bit more smoky. But if you guys want to learn how to do this, stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to be using, um, just as like an eyeshadow base so the eyeshadow can stick a little better. I do have Coastal Suns Primer on, but I'm going to be using this just to make it a little better. It's the Revlon Cream Shadows and this is in Coastal Blues. I'm going to be using the lightest color. It's kind of like really close to my skin tone. So I'm just going to be using that. I'm going to apply it all over my lid, up to the brow bone. And now I'm going to be taking my 239 MAC brush, and I'm going to be dipping it in my Coastal Scents Shimmer Palette. Um, the very first gold in the first row, all the way down. Tap off any excess and pop that on your entire lid. You want to get in the corner really good. A little bit more. I should just keep this right here. So once we're done with our lid color, we're going to go ahead and put some things in the crease. But I forgot to mention, when you're putting on your lid color, just kind of wing it out a little, just bring it out, and it'll give you the effect of kind of like a V. It doesn't need to be perfect. Sometimes if it gets too rounded, I'll just keep doing this with my finger and it'll go straight. Whatever, I'm wasting time. Okay. So I'm going to be using this Coastal Sands um, Big Fluffy Brush. And... I'm going to go into my palette again. There's this darker kind of like bronzy color. I don't know where it's at on there, but um, it's the second to the last um, third one down. So we're just going to pop that in there. You just want a little bit in there. Tap off any excess. And we're just going to pop this into our crease all the way in. Plus it's going to blend out that gold really well and it's not going to have any harsh lines. So it's going to contrast really nicely. And I probably look blind because I'm not looking at you guys when I'm putting on my makeup. I'm like, yeah guys, this is great. <laughs> okay, so after we got that bronzy color all in our crease, that's what it looks like. And I'm going to be taking my 217 Fluffy Mac Brush and I'm going to be dipping it into second roll all the way down into that medium brown color right there. And this is actually just the regular Coastal Scents matte palette. So I'm going to be dipping it in there a little bit, tap off any excess, and we're just going to pop this right into our crease. We're not going to go all the way in because that's going to defeat the purpose of leaving it like a bronzy summery look. I just want to darken it up a little bit. I don't even think Kim had this um, in her makeup look, but yeah, I like the way that looks, so let's go. Right into the crease, kind of line, make a line just like that, and then just go in there. Just a little bit. And then circular motions, just kind of blend it out. You can even wipe off your brush a little bit if you're scared of the color, because I am a little right now. And then you could go ahead and blend it all in together very nicely. There. 
So, um, I put some of the medium brown crease color on the bottom of my lash line, just kind of halfway in, and then I did take some of that gold that I used in my lid, and I did put some in my tear duct. Now, I am going to take a white eye coal, and this is just my NYX, it's just white, and I'm going to pop that in my waterline. Because she didn't have anything in her waterline. And now I'm going to take just a L'Oreal Hip Black Eyeliner, and I'm just going to tight line my eye. Okay, I'm done with the eyes. Um, I put some liquid liner on top and some black mascara. I didn't wing it out. Like I said earlier, it's your preference. I don't, I didn't do it, whatever. So I used a felt tip black liner. Um, this is the Maybelline Line Stilettos in black is black. There it is. The best. And of course, my favorite voluminous carbon black mascara. For the cheeks, she did have some contouring going on, and it looked really bronzy, but like in the apples of her cheeks, it was kind of like flushed pink. So what I'm going to be using is, is this little Estee Lauder eyeshadow palette thingy, and I'm going to be using actually all three colors, but the bronze color is um, Bronze Goddess, the middle one is Nude Rose, and the first one is Rose, so Rose, Nude Rose, and Bronze Goddess. So. I'm just going to be taking an angled brush, this is by Coastal Scents, and I'm going to be taking it into the bronze color. Tap off any excess and we're just going to kind of contour. I know that, that looks totally crazy. Kind of get it in your hairline, your jaw, to the other side. Oops, I'm like... <laughs> oh, it's okay, whatever. Now I'm going to be taking the both of these rosy colors. Just both. And I'm just going to be applying it like blush. Right on the apples of my cheeks. And then bringing it up. your nose. So let's look, just kind of just put it everywhere. You may think I'm crazy, but it's very subtle. You can barely see it. And for lips, I have two options. The color I'm going to be using is just a really, really light pink, like really light, kind of like nude pink. This is by CoverGirl, and this is just in 405, but it's just like a really nude pink. I'm going to put this on my lips. So, the other option is to throw like a, a bronzy kind of gloss on top, and I, I think I am, just because I want to show you guys how amazing this is. This reminds me of Dazzle Blast by MAC, but this is by Milani, and it's the 3D Glitzy, and this is in Designer Label. Okay, so this is the finished look. came out really cute. I'm almost running out of time so I have to go but if you guys want to see more videos just stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!